This video is gonna piss a lot of people off, but if anorexia is an unhealthy body image for young women, then so is obesity. And that's exactly what I said yesterday on my Facebook page in relation to the Tess Holiday front page of Cosmopolitan Magazine scandal that has ruled the internet for the past week and I got fucking banned for 30 days for talking about it. That's fucking bullshit. So let's talk about it some more. Recently, one of the biggest publications for women all over the world, Cosmopolitan Magazine, shocked the internet with this front cover. Yes, that's right, it's their attempt to push the idea that women are beautiful no matter what size they are. You may have noticed there the key word, women, because this would never happen if it was men. Because men who are overweight aren't powerful, they aren't brave, they aren't empowered, they are just fat. Because fat men are just fat. Now the lady on the front cover's name is Tess Holiday. She's an Instagram model with 1.7 million followers. Now this video isn't so much about her, but it's about Cosmo and the mainstream media pushing the idea that obesity is now to be celebrated. You wanted to send out. Um, what, what is it? By I, being on that cover, what does that represent for you? I mean, uh, even you just saying, like, the message that I wanted to put across, the message that did get across was that, like, things are changing. And, like, yeah, I'm a size, you know, UK 26, but, like look at me like I've been literally on cloud nine and the response has been really overwhelming it's been it's like the fact that I'm able to do something like this and that there's so many other people that are like working hard to change things is um incredibly empowering and and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If one person can see me on the cover and, and feel less alone, then my job is done. I'm sorry, but obesity is not healthy. In saying that, I don't think you should be ashamed of your body, but you definitely need to recognize there is an issue at hand and endeavor to fix it. And that's what I did two years ago. I weighed 135 kilograms. I was a really big fucking fat dude, right? And I had been for almost my entire life. I really did believe that there was no amount of lifestyle changes or diet changes that would ever help me. And I was to be destined to be stuck in the body that I hated forever. I can say with years of experience that being fat is not a good thing. It's a fucking tough thing to go through. From being picked on by every kid at school to coming last in fucking cross country. Nothing really good ever came out of it. So I said, fuck it. And two years ago, I cut out all the sugar and carbohydrates out of my diet. And within 18 months, I had lost something like 37 kilos. And I reached a weight that was healthy for me. I trained every day and I was strict as fuck. And I reached that weight. I was very proud of myself. It was tough. It was hard but it's doable. And now for someone to go out into the media and tell millions of people all over the globe that it's okay to be dangerously overweight, that is fucked up. This isn't being brave. This isn't empowering young women or older women or women in general. This is promoting an unhealthy lifestyle. And this magazine refuses to promote skinny models because they are not real women, whatever the fuck that means. And then they go ahead and promote this lady because body image or something, they're running with this fucking idea to refuse to promote one end of the spectrum and then say the other end of the spectrum is A-OK -okay and you go girl is unbelievably hipper fucking critical and the Cosmo magazine people should be fucking ashamed of themselves. You might think that's a little bit harsh me saying that, but the reason I'm saying that is because Cosmo aren't doing this because they've turned some moral high ground. They're not doing this because they've sat around a desk and go, you know what? We need to help out people that are doing it tough. They're doing it because it's fucking popular. They're doing it because they know it sells magazines. It makes them more money. It's the thing to do at the moment. They've recognized a trend and they know they can monetize it. And that's what stinks about this whole situation. Everyone's sitting around pretending that it's just because Cosmo are good fucking people. No! They're trying to make more fucking money off you. Just like smoking cigarettes, just like drinking too much, just like taking too many drugs. Overindulging in too much food 
will lead you to an early grave. And that's what this video is about. If you recognize that there is a problem with your weight, just do something about it. I know it's fucking tough. And you can go in the comments section and you can say how much of a piece of shit I am for talking about this and you feel happy in your own body, whatever. But there's a massive difference between being happy within your own body and leading a healthy life and living until you're fucking ancient. And I hope everyone that's watching this video lives until they're fucking ancient. But if you're shoveling food into your mouth, unhealthy food, refined sugars, refined carbohydrates, all that shit, the prognosis is not good, is what I'm saying. And we often hear about people talk about how dangerous anorexia is. Well, the incidence of anorexia across the globe is between 0.3% of women and 1.5%. Now that's a lot of people. However, obesity affects in Australia 56% of women. Over half the women in Australia are classified as obese. So where is the real issue here? And there's no doubt that anorexia is a horrible condition that people deal with, and there's no doubt that it's linked to a mental health condition, but it could be argued so is obesity. This addiction that people have to foods, it's fucking tough. I mean, I've been on tour for the last couple of months, and Jesus Christ, I've put on six fucking kilos, and I blame McDonald's, 24 nuggets for $10, what the fuck are you trying to do to me? Miss Holiday, the lady who was featured on the cover of Cosmo, she is morbidly obese. That doesn't mean she doesn't dress nice, that doesn't mean she's not beautiful, that doesn't mean she's not smart, it's just stating an absolute fact. And people like her, who are proud of their body, who feel brave by showing it off, who feel empowered by talking about it, that's all well and good. But along with those things, they're also far more likely to die of cardiovascular disease, stroke, develop Alzheimer's disease, have high blood pressure, develop diabetes, osteoarthritis, some type of cancers. The list goes on and it just points to the same conclusion. You can be brave and you can be powerful and you can be empowered about being overweight, but there is no doubt and there is no dancing around the fact that you are slowly killing yourself. And as horrible as that sounds coming from me, this is the truth. This is the truth that I faced as an overweight, obese person and I did something about it. It was fucking tough. Being healthy is very fucking tough. You have to be extremely strict and you have to put enormous amounts of pressure on yourself to do the right things. It's hard for people to do that. But the way to achieve that, the way to do that is not to make the opposite okay. You have to address the problems at hand. And that's what I set out to do yesterday when I posted this photo on Facebook with the caption, If anorexia is unhealthy for young women, then so is obesity. A pretty normal caption, and I think a lot of people were speaking in these terms on the internet, but my post that had a couple of thousand likes within an hour or so was removed two hours later by Facebook. Ironically, after I had gone for a run and returned to my computer, I found that I had been logged out of my account and my account on Facebook had been banned. Again. I've been fucking banned again. This time for 30 days. That means I can't use my personal Facebook account to send me mum fucking cat emojis for 30 fucking days. All because of what? Because of stating the obvious? That is fucking bullshit, Facebook. How can we live in a social media driven world with a marketplace of ideas where everyone comes together in this area on Facebook and discusses things and yet every single time someone says something that is slightly offensive, it is censored. It's fucking bullshit. But I know whinging's not gonna do anything about it. You should go like my Facebook page in protest. Obviously, like anyone with a normal human brain, I don't think just because you're obese or just because you're a little bit overweight, you're a bad person because most of us are. Most of us have body image issues. I mean, for fuck's sake, look at this head. It's obviously a rough wind in Newcastle. But I also don't think you should admit defeat. I think you should push yourself through it. I think you should work on yourself and you might find that you become a happier and healthy person. And if you fail, try again. And if you fail, try again and don't fucking give up. Don't just admit defeat. I will never judge a person on what their appearance happens to be. I always judge people on the content of their character, like any logical human being. This video isn't about fat shaming, although fat shaming can be fun. But I really do think that this entire subject has been blown out of the water by the media who knows it sells papers. Once again, this is why they do this shit. 
They tell the story and then they pretend to blow up about the story because it sells more. That's all they're fucking doing. They're just utilizing the fact that people like to battle. I mean, you should have read some of the fucking comments in the Instagram post I did yesterday. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, go and check it out now. It's at the Buttsman. People seem to be in this sense of denial. And that's not healthy either. I don't think that you shouldn't have obese people on the covers of magazines, but what I do think is you shouldn't try and glorify it. You shouldn't glorify extremely skinny people. You shouldn't glorify extremely fat people. You shouldn't glorify fucking anybody. Let's all just calm down a little bit and stop waging war between fucking everything and making you a bad person if you slightly disagree with something. We're all entitled to our opinion, except Obviously, if you disagree with me, then you're not. So get fucked. <laughs> anyway, peace in the Middle East. Be a good motherfucker. Me dick stinks. Um, I don't know. It's very hot. I'm, I put on far too much fucking weight from those nuggets. I'm really sweating at the moment. Goodbye.